Now we're in uh, East Iceland in this museum called Bredalsetur. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the different rock types that we have here in East Iceland. So, igneous rocks. Here on this side, this here side, we have lava with basaltic composition. And on this side, we have more silica-rich rocks. So, closest to you now are rocks that cooled, or lava that cooled very quickly. So we have scoria, kind of torn apart by the gases dissolving out of it when it cooled. And here's a, a lava rope, I think you call it, that kind of tore apart when it was still hot. And on this side, silica ridge, then we have pumice, which is really, really light and kind of floats on water if you put it on water. That's also torn apart by the gases and uh, it's equivalent or with the same composition. It's really nice raptina, what we call it. I don't remember the English word right now. Um, okay, so this is really, really quickly cooled. It doesn't have any any grains in it. So, um, and then the next thing is lava cooling, flowing on the surface. It has really, really small grains in it. You can only see them in like a, a microscope. Rhyolite flowing on the surface. Also really small particles. Can't be seen by the, well, in the field. And then we have lava cooling in the crust, so like in dikes. So we have dolerite and I think that's granophyre. And then we have rocks that cool over a very long period of time, deep down in the Earth's crust. A gabbro and granite. And these are the hardest minerals. So these weather pretty quickly and these weather over a very long time so that's why we see these in like gravestones and something that's going to last.